one. Lit one. Yeet! In the alley! Cars driving by throwing in the truck! Uh, I'm very, very sorry for broadcasting that song. I was, oh my god, that was terrible! Okay, whoever picks my songs, fire them! God! Like, written by like a nine year old. Oh! Got an uh, incoming transmission of the emergency alert system, so I'll stop talking and let's switch to that. Alright. Messages transmitted at the request of the United States government. An ongoing battle between United States Armed Forces and Russia is expanding to the Chicago metropolitan area. Citizens should go back to their designated shelters now, until an all clear is given by the proper authorities. More information will be provided later. National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a blizzard warning for Cook County in Northeast Illinois, Lake County in Northeast Illinois, DuPage County in Northeast Illinois, and Lake County in Northwest Indiana until 12.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time Tuesday. At 2.11 p.m. Central Daylight Time, National Weather Service spotters spotted a mysterious blizzard just south of Aurora, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazards, wind gusts of up to 150 miles per hour, extremely low visibility, and up to 7 feet of snow in certain areas. Source, spotters, this is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. For your protection, move all vehicles to a safe place, and move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Make sure you have all necessities such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, and a battery-powered radio. Do not travel, even for emergencies. Going outdoors puts your life at serious risk due to the below freezing temperatures and extremely high wind gusts. If you have an emergency, call 911 and you will receive assistance. Stay tuned to local media for further information. Sheboygan, Wisconsin to Pentwater, Michigan North. West of today, east winds to 30 knots become...
It is believed that, that this is an attack from another group who will remain classified at this time. This terrorist group is capable of destroying entire planets. The extreme blizzard is also believed to be an attack from this group. In addition, the extreme conditions outside may prevent emergency responders from reaching you. Anyone who attempts to go outside will die from the harsh winter and extreme cold. Citizens are to remain in their shelters until an order is given by the proper authorities. A message providing more information will be sent out at 4.50 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Following is a message from the United States government. It has been confirmed that the deaths of half the Army's troops as well as the weather disturbances were an attack by a terrorist group whose name will remain classified. It has also been found that this group took over the Russian government several years ago, explaining their sudden aggressive behavior. Quranida. This group has been killing off millions of Russian and American troops, and there are thousands and possibly millions of operatives serving this group seeking to infiltrate the military and take over the United States. They are disguised as soldiers, but they are not identical to them. If you spot a red X on their chin or neck, kill them immediately. If you do not, you will be taken and possibly killed. Due to these findings, this broadcast will now silence for your safety. Um, uh, we have, um, defeated the terrorist group that was attempting to take over our country. Um, basically, World War Three is over now. So many people died. So many. But, but in the end, we, we, um, we saved America. We, um, that, that group is, doesn't exist anymore. Neither do the Russians, but that's not important. Um, what, at what cost? <laughs> 